Greetings, I'm Dan York with the Internet Society Deploy360 program, and I want to talk to you today about how content delivery networks, or CDNs, can IPv6 enable your websites, even if those sites are hosted on an IPv4 only web server. Now, let's look at the typical interaction that you have with visitors to your site. Those visitors are going to connect to your web server using a web browser and pull back that content, HTML pages, images, audio, video, whatever it may be, and display it in the browser. Now, as you have more visitors, all of them will be hitting your web server or servers and pulling that information back. As you have many visitors, you'll certainly experience a load on your servers and that can lead to page slowdowns. We've all seen that, right? Pages that just took forever to load, it seemed. Well, to prevent that, most major websites out there today use what's called a content delivery network, sometimes called a content distribution network, but it's a CDN either way. And what happens is when you contract with a CDN, the CDN pulls your content into its globally available network and makes it available out through various different edge servers that are network that are close to visitors. So when a visitor goes to your site, they will be redirected to one of the CDN servers who will then provide the content. The beautiful part about this for your visitors is they go to the same URL they always have, www.example.com, whatever it is. They don't know that they're getting it from a CDN. What happens is through the magic of DNS, the CDN redirects them to the appropriate server. You use CDNs every single day when you're out on the web because when you go to major news sites, major entertainment sites, major media sites, major social networks, all of them are using CDNs to provide this level of scalability to users across there. From a publisher's point of view, it's a nice thing too because you just put the content up on your web server just as you always have done and then the CDN pulls it across. You also have a lot of protection in case you do get a big spike in viewers. The, uh, the CDN can absorb that, that for you. Now, CDNs are not necessarily free. There are free CDNs, and there are CDNs that offer free packages for individuals or smaller people and then go up in levels, and they can go on up to be expensive or even very expensive, depending on the level of service you want. So there is a fee typically involved with this, but a CDN can provide this type of service. Now, how does it relate to IPv6? Well, if somebody's coming from an IPv6 only network and trying to get the content on your IPv4 only web server, they're not going to be able to do it. Now, the reality is that today most of our web content is on IPv4 only web servers. And so somewhere in the mix, there is some kind of gateway that translates IPv6 queries into v4 and translates the traffic back the other way. But just inherent in this is some kind of delay. And so the ideal solution is to make your web content available over both v6 and v4 so that people can just get to it over whichever protocol they happen to be using without any of the delays that could be caused by gateways. Now, if you're not able to do that directly with your own web servers, a CDN can do this for you because the CDN already has your content. It's pulling it from your IPv4 web server. And then if the CDN has its edge servers that are dual stacked, that uh, support both v6 and v4, or if they have some v6 only edge servers, they can redirect people to those servers and serve it out to you. This works fantastically. I use it myself. I have a, several of my websites are on a dual stacked host, so they're available on both v6 and v4, but I have some other websites that are available only on IPv4. But through a CDN, I'm able to make that content available out there through both v6 and v4 without any speed difference because they're, they're both getting it. Both protocols are hitting the CDN and getting that content natively in whatever they're interested in. Now, it's a great solution. There are a couple quick caveats. First of all, if you like to control your own DNS name servers, uh, you can't with a CDN. The CDN needs to control your name servers, not your domain. You still own your domain, all that type of thing. But, um, but the CDN actually is doing the DNS hosting for you. Some people like to control their own name servers and that won't work with a CDN. Another factor is that there is just some inherent latency in using a CDN because when you make an update to a page, it will take a while to propagate out through all the CDN servers. So a question to ask if you're looking at CDNs is how long does that take? Are you talking minutes, you know, hopefully, hours? Well, what are you talking about? Um, what level of, uh, of delay will there be to get your updates out there? The other piece is you are putting a layer between your content and your visitors. So the question is, can the CDN provide at least as good, if not better, 
uh, availability, uptime, reliability than you can on your own servers? These are questions, again, you need to be asking the CDN when you're looking for. Now, finally, one caveat for us, certainly from the Deploy360 program, is that most CDNs today don't yet support DNSSEC, secure DNS, secure domain name. So if you want a secure domain name and you also want IPv6, a CDN may not yet provide that. A number of the CDNs are talking about writing DNSSEC, so we're looking forward to seeing that kind of support in the future. Now, if, you've, if you're okay with the caveats, you're ready to get going, what you need to do is, first, if you've got an existing relationship with a CDN, talk to them about IPv6. Many of the largest uh, CDNs, folks like Akamai Technologies, Limelight Networks, they are providing IPv6 capability for customers. You need to ask about it, find out what's involved, all of those things. If your CDN does not support IPv6, or you're not using a CDN, we're maintaining a list on our Deploy360 site of existing CDNs we know of that support IPv6, and it's at bit.ly slash IPv6 CDNs is a quick URL to get there. You can also just find it through our regular www.internetsociety.org slash deploy360 site. As I mentioned, Akamai, Limelight are some of the major CDNs doing this. There's some newer entrants like Cloudflare, who's doing some fantastic work advocating for IPv6 and making it super easy for customers and individuals to uh, use it. They've got some great offers that you uh, should go and check it out. But definitely look at CDNs as a way to go and do this and make this available quickly. Again, that's all I have to say. You can find out more about us at internetsociety.org slash deploy360. Thank you for watching, and I hope that uh, you'll find CDNs a very powerful way to make your content rapidly available over IPv6. Thank you.